Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX8 tutorial. In this video will be about the text node. Okay, so let's go to the slide. Okay, so the text node it, uh, comes from the class shape. So you will find that we um, we have uh, similar properties that we have uh, in the shape uh, uh, classes, uh, similar uh, to these properties that I, I'm going to show you here. They are the, the same. Okay, so in the first place, the text node has a method that is the method set text, and this method will set the text that the, the text node will, will show. Okay, then we have another two methods, and they are uh, the set x and set y, and they are setting the coordinates, uh, the starting coordinates of this of this text node. Okay, so then we have another method which is set font and inside of it we are going to use the font class and we're going to call one of the of its uh, static methods called font in order to uh, to set the font uh, the weight and the posture uh, you know the weight will be something like bold uh, a posture will be italic or regular and the size the size of of this uh, of this text inside the text node, and also we are gonna review two uh, two effects. One of them is the drop shadow, and the other one is the reflections. Okay, these effects are shown here in this in this image. The first one here is the shadow. The other one is the reflection. Okay, so let's go to NetBeans. Okay, here we are in NetBeans, and here's the code that I'm using to show you uh, how to use the text node. So, well, the class is text, and then, for example, we are using here the set text method and setting this text here. I'm going to show you the, the result here. And we are uh, doing some basic uh, configurations here in this first text. We are only uh, first setting the font. Uh, you can do it this way if you want. Use the class font, and then uh, you know create an object font, and use one of these uh, static methods inside the, the font class. And inside of it, as you can see, you can use first the string with the name of the font. Uh, this is the font in your system. Okay, uh, the font in your system inside your system, and only fonts that exist in your system will be available in this. In this uh, for this uh, font method, okay. This is the font in your system, and uh, then we have the font weight. Uh, for example, here you can see that we have different options we have black, bold, um, extra bold, extra light, medium, uh, thin, okay. And then we have the posture. The posture is uh, well, italic, like you can see here, regular. Okay, so everything you, know, you 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 find here is in order to you know give some format to the font, and also we have uh, the size of this <coughs> of this text. We have 20 here, maybe we can set to 45 uh, or, or 50, and the size of the font will change. Okay, so uh, then we have. Uh, we need to set this font. Once we have this object with the values, we need to use the method set font and inside of it pass the, the font object, the font uh, object here. Okay, then we need to set the coordinates for the starting point of this text node. We use the set x and set y. We pass uh, these numbers in pixels. And then we are using the set field. This is um, one of the the methods that is the same in the sh uh, as the shapes uh, classes set field to set the color of this this text node which is green. Okay, so let's execute again. Okay, so as you can see here, now we have uh, you know bigger text because we change the size of this uh, this text. Okay, now this is bigger and. And also, it has a green field color. And well, it is this. Uh, its starting point is 
uh, at 50 pixels in the X and 50 pixels in the Y coordinate. The starting point uh, of this text will be always here uh, at the bottom of the of the text, not at the top. It will be at the bottom. We will start here. Okay, in this section here. Okay. Well, now we have uh, these two examples here, uh, and in them we're using effects. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, right away. So the first one is a drop shadow effect. Okay. So this is the node that we're using with this drop shadow effect. And also you can use the constructor of this text class in order to pass the coordinates here and then the text that you want to have inside this text node. And another way to set the font is with the static methods as well. And inside the method set font, we can use one of these static methods and you know directly. Okay, we have here passing the name of the of the font, the way, the poster and the, the size. And the color field will be red. We are also using the set underline method to underline these tests uh, by using the true value. Okay, so the effect here is a drop shadow effect. We need a class called drop shadow. And then we need to set the, the color of this, this shadow. You can use whatever color you want. You can use a gradient if you want. Uh, okay, or a more basic color as well. Also, we have now the shadow offset. Okay, we need to set this offset that we want um, in the x and in the y coordinates. Okay, so this means uh, mm, the coordinates where the shadow will start. Okay, or will you know will be the offset of this uh, of this original text, and then the shadow will start appearing there. So we're saying that we want 10 pixels. Uh, 10 pixels uh, in the x coordinate and also 10 pixels in the y coordinate so the shadow will start there okay so that's the offset and also we have the the radius here set radius and and it, this is the the blue uh, radius uh, to this for this shadow effect uh, if you increase the value of this radius uh, this text, this shadow, will be more difficult to 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 see. You know, will be uh, blurred. More of these lines will be more blurred. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how it looks if I um, if I increase this value. Okay, so finally we're using this set effect in order to you know assign the drop shadow effect to the text node. Okay, so let's close and execute again. Okay, so here we have, um, as you can see, this shadow is more difficult to see because we have increased the blur radius for this shadow. Okay, so the next effect here is the reflection. It's just a simple reflection of the of the text as you can see here okay and it is here okay we are uh, using some basic format here for our text you know the starting point the coordinates the text setting the font the color field and this is the effect the reflection effect we need to use the reflection class and then we are setting uh, the fraction of the um, of the text that will be shown in the reflection, so we use this set uh, set fraction uh, method, and we can pass. We need to pass a value from zero to one. It's a percentage, so uh, it will uh, say, you know, how how much of the original text will be shown in the reflection. In this case, we are using uh, an eighty percent, and that's why we can see almost all the text reflected here. Okay, now we have the offset, the set top offset. This is the distance between uh, between this uh, the top of the text and the and the and this bottom of this the, this other top of here on this text. This is the distance between this these two uh, texts here. Okay, and also we have the opacity. 
with the set top opacity uh, we are saying the uh, we are setting the opacity of the top section of the of this uh, this uh, this reflection and with the set bottom opacity we are setting as well the reflection of the bottom section of this reflection as well uh, these two methods receives uh, values from 1 to 0 as well okay so let's modify them so you can see how they look Okay, the reflection we are modifying as well, and also we are setting the effect here with the set effect method, and we are passing the reflection, reflect one. Then we are just adding the these three nodes to the to the root node. Okay, so let's close and see what happens. Okay, so there you go. So as you can see, now we have the 50% of the original text inside the reflection. We could reset the set fraction method. We pass a value of 0.5, um, which is the 50%. And well, as you can see here, the opacity of the uh, top section is uh, 2%, uh, 20%, um, and that's why you can uh, see it here a little bit light in a light color okay so the opacity of the bottom section is 80 percent so when we were not able to see this because we're, we are only seeing the 50 percent of the original text but we will uh, but you will see the 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 changes here okay so that's it for the video i hope you like it and see you next time Thanks guys for watching this video and please don't miss the next videos because we are going to start learning uh, some uh, user interface controls. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and see you next time.